Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Michael Taggart here with Stupidest People in Politics, and believe me, there's a lot of people who have wanted me to do one. There are people who don't want me to do one. And this week's, I'm telling you right now, folks, I've seen some stupidity, but this case of stupid neandering is in the all-time Hall of Fame. In other words, it was a good week for me. Man, this was a horrible week for America. So let me get started. First off, and folks, when you get this guy to be the the least of the stupidity, you know something's up. Sean Hannity, or as I'm going to start calling him from now on, the Beto Bailey of Fox News. Today, or the other day, uh, yesterday on his so-called news program, there has been, according to Media Matters, an upshoot in elderly people deaths. And there's been a study about it which has been thoroughly debunked that the reason why the a number of elderly people is dying more is from drug overdoses, suicide, and Alzheimer's disease. But leave it to the Beto Bailey of news media to say that it is Obamacare and the death pedals, which pull it a fact back in 2009, debunked this as their liar, liar, pants on fire of the moment of the year, lie of the year. And yet, the Beto Bailey of news wants to try to pass it off again. Sean Hannity, you are a moron. Runner-up. And yes, folks, it's a runner-up, but this man is really out of his gourd. Below, the side face clown. Ladies and gentlemen, Bill O'Reilly has lost it. And on his so-called program on May 26th, this is from the Huffington Post, Bill O'Reilly, Black Lives Matter is killing Americans. And that in some parts of the country, larger uh, cities are being blamed uh, the so-called Ferguson effect. A term used to describe how the attention of excessive force by police and allegedly made officers and aggressive and pursuing crimes. Ladies and gentlemen, Bill O'Reilly has lost it. Bill, you haven't talked about one of the actual things about those statistics that the number of black people dying has also went up. The number of crimes that police officers have committed against black has went up. Bill, listen to me when I say this. I know other people have told you this. The white men, or excuse me, the men in the funny white coats are coming very soon. When they knock at the door, do not resist. Go with them. And as bad as that was, ladies and gentlemen, it is nothing compared to a Hall of Famer from a woman named Stacy. I fell near the dash line who made one of the most outrageously stupid, ignorant, and vile comments that I've seen in a long time. And it's about, yes, the transgender bathroom issue again. You know, I could, I could, I could do a whole freaking book on stupidest people in politics about that one issue. But Stacy Dash, who has a new book coming out, <laughs> uh, says that transgender people should go to the bathroom in the bushes. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. They should not even go. This is from Yahoo News, excuse me. And she doesn't want transgenders to go to a specially made bathroom, which is already bad enough as it is. Oh, uh, Miss Coy Wiley Coyote wants. People to, the transgender people to go out in the bushes so that nobody will uh, have a chance of being hurt. Miss Dash, let's change this to a serious subject. Well, do you remember a time when white people would say, I don't want your kind sitting in a, in a, in a, in a, at the same table as me, in the same restaurant? I don't want your kind to use the same water fountain. I don't want your kind's children to be going to school with my children. Miss Dash, for the love that is all that is human and sane, shut up. Violence against transgenders has went up. That's a fact. Attacks on them has went up. Fear and ph the phobia about transgender people is at ridiculously high numbers. And yet, 
you are an African American, yet you don't want to seem to care about the discrimination that happens to them. Only what has happened to you, right? Or do you even care about that? Were you one of those people that was saying, good, Blackie, get back in line, know your place? Were you one of those people that probably cheered when Martin Luther King or Malcolm X got shot? Please tell me that you weren't one of those people that was saying, oh yes, oh yes, let the cops just kill another one. Mrs. Dash, it is one thing to promote bigotry. It's another thing when you have a minority group attacking another minority group. It basically says that my rights trump your rights. You should not have the same rights as mine, which is already sick enough when you think about the majority doing it. When you have another minority do it, that actually makes it worse. Stacy, I ran to the, the finish line, but I failed because I dashed too much. Today's stupidest person in politics.